Hi friends, in this video we are going to solve a few questions about the PEMDAS rule. Let's solve these questions step by step together. 8 to the power of 2 plus 2 then times 3 plus 3 then times open parentheses 3 plus 2 close parentheses then all of them to the power of 2. What is the answer of this question? In this question we have exponent, addition, multiplication and parentheses. To solve this question, we need to follow the order of operations, which is PEMDAS. PEMDAS shows the priority of the mathematical operations, and if you don't pay attention to this rule, you get the wrong answer. We must follow this rule from top to bottom. In this rule, P stands for parentheses, E stands for exponent, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, a stands for addition and S stands for subtraction. As you know, multiplication and division have the same level of priority. Also, addition and subtraction have the same level of priority. When we have both in an expression, we start from the left and simplify the question. First, we simplify the parentheses. Inside these parentheses, we have another parentheses. 3 plus 2 equals 5. Now we have 3 plus 3, then times 5 to the power of 2 inside the parentheses. Okay guys, now the question is 8 to the power of 2 plus 2 then times 3 plus 3 times 5 to the power of 2. Again, we simplify the parentheses. Inside these parentheses, we have addition, multiplication, and exponent. First, we simplify this exponent. 5 to the power of 2 equals 25. Now we have 3 plus 3 then times 25 inside the parentheses. And the question is 8 to the power of 2 plus 2 then times 3 plus 3 times 25. Again, we simplify the parentheses. Inside these parentheses, we have addition and multiplication. First, we do this multiplication because multiplication has higher priority than addition. 3 times 25 equals 75. Now we have 3 plus 75 inside the parentheses. 3 plus 75 equals 78. Now we have 8 to the power of 2 plus 2 then times 78. We have exponent, addition and multiplication. In this step, we simplify this exponent. 8 to the power of 2 equals 64. Now we have 64 plus 2 then times 78. Okay guys, we have addition and multiplication. First, we do this multiplication. Because multiplication has higher priority than addition. 2 times 78 equals 156. Now we have 64 plus 156. The final answer of this question equals 220. Guys, if you want to get the right answer of this question, you must follow the PEMDAS rule. Okay guys, if you're ready, let's solve another question about PEMDAS rule. We have 8 plus 2 over 5. Then times open parentheses 5 minus 5 over 3 close parentheses divided by 3. Again, to solve this question, we need to follow the PEMDAS rule. According to this rule, in this question, first we simplify the parentheses. Inside the parentheses, we have 5 minus 5 over 3. Since the denominator of this fraction is 3, we can write 5 as 15 over 3. Now we have 15 over 3 minus 5 over 3. Okay guys, inside the parentheses we have 15 over 3 minus 5 over 3. 15 over 3 minus 5 over 3 equals 10 over 3. Now the question is 8 plus 2 over 5 then times 10 over 3 divided by 3. Now we have addition, multiplication and division. First we simplify this multiplication. In this step, we simplify 10 and 5 by 5. Now we have 2 times 2 over 3. 2 times 2 over 3 equals 4 over 3. The answer of this part equals 4 over 3. Now we have 8 plus 4 over 3 divided by 3. In this step, we have addition and division. First, we simplify this division. Because division has higher priority than addition. To solve this part, we need to follow the KCF rule. In this rule, K stands for keep, 
C stands for change and F stands for flip. Okay guys, we keep the first fraction as it is. After that, we change the sign and after that, we flip the second number. As you see, we keep the first fraction as it is. After that, we change the sign and after that, we flip the second number. Now we have addition and multiplication. First, we do this multiplication. 4 over 3 times 1 over 3 equals 4 over 9. Now we have 8 plus 4 over 9. Since the denominator of this fraction is 9, we can write 8 as 72 over 9. Now we have 72 over 9 plus 4 over 9. 72 over 9 plus 4 over 9 equals 76 over 9. The final answer of this question equals 76 over 9. Okay guys, if you're ready, let's solve another question about PEMDAS rule. The question is 11 over 3 plus 2 times open parentheses 4 minus 1 over 3 close parentheses divided by 4. What is the answer of this question? To solve this question, we need to follow the PEMDAS rule. According to this rule, first we simplify the parentheses. Inside the parentheses, we have 4 minus 1 over 3. Since the denominator of this fraction is 3, we can write 4 as 12 over 3. Now we have 12 over 3 minus 1 over 3. Inside the parentheses, we have 12 over 3 minus 1 over 3. And the final answer of this part equals 11 over 3. Now we have 11 over 3 plus 2 times 11 over 3 divided by 4. Now we have addition, multiplication, and division. First, we simplify this multiplication. 2 times 11 over 3. 2 times 11 over 3 equals 22 over 3. Now we have 11 over 3 plus 22 over 3 divided by 4. Okay, guys. Now we have addition and division. First, we simplify this division. Because division has higher priority than addition. To solve this part, we need to follow the KCF rule. According to this rule, we keep the first fraction as it is. After that, we change the sign. And after that, we flip the second number. Okay, guys. Now the question is 11 over 3 plus 22 over 3 times 1 over 4. We have addition and multiplication. First, we do this multiplication. 22 over 3 times 1 over 4 equals... 22 over 12. Now we have 11 over 3 plus 22 over 12. We can simplify both by 2. We have 11 over 6. Now the question is 11 over 3 plus 11 over 6. Okay guys. The common denominator of these fractions is 6. Now we have a new fraction that the denominator of this fraction is 6. As you know, 6 divided by 3 equals 2. Now we have 6 divided by 3, which equals 2, 10 times 11, which equals 22. We have 22 plus 11, then over 6. 22 plus 11 equals 33. And the final answer of this question equals 33 over 6. Now we can simplify both by 3. 33 divided by 3 equals 11, and 6 divided by 3 equals 2. The final answer of this question equals 11 over 2. Thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. Goodbye.